Hey, Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement from beside the beautiful shores of Grand Lake, just north of Alpena, Michigan. Sandy and I are getting to enjoy some quality time with two of our daughters and a son-in-law and his family here. It's a wonderful time away and to be with family and to relax. Uh, this is not a green screened background. This is for real. In 1748, a slave trader ship, the Greyhound, was caught in a horrendous storm off the coast of Ireland and it almost sank. Seemingly out of nowhere, the slave trader prayed to God and the cargo of his ship miraculously shifted to fill a hole in the hull of his ship and the vessel drifted to safety. He took it as a sign of God and marks it as his conversion experience to Christianity. He continued to work as a slave trader, but he began to read the Bible. But he did change. He became a minister. And years later, he penned these words in his journal. I will always, it will always be a subject of humiliating reflection to me that I once was an active instrument in a business in which my heart now shudders. You may know John Newton for another reason. He's the one that penned these words, amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. What changed? God changed his heart. And I pray that God would change the heart of this nation. Nothing is beyond God. And I pray that fervently, and I invite you to pray that also with me for our nation. But I would invite you to take it a step further that we would pray first that God would change our hearts. And I think in that, as God continues his work of moving us on to perfection, as John Wesley would say, that we would all be encouraged.